Finalists, we're on page 2-9 of HSE workbook and we're going to run through this one because uh, we are preparing ourselves, of course, for the SBA. So please keep up with me on this video. All right. First things first is you're going to have to take note of what is given here. I'm not going to talk through all the different components. You should familiarize yourself with that. Let's start looking at the questions and those that straightforward, I'll just skip and I'm going to try and get to the more difficult ones. The first one is print the title, locking device in the provided space. Of course, you can do that yourself. Then number two, name the system of projection and draw the projection symbol. It is mechanical, so it is third angle of the graphic projection. And that symbol people is always looking the same for third angle of the graphic projection. And it is, of course, done freehand. Right, your center lines there. Uh, there's actual video on my channel talking about how we determine that. So make sure you watch that if you're unsure. But that is a symbol for third angle orthographic projection. Number three, determine the scale of the drawing and print it in the provided space. Okay, so that's left open for us. We can go to any one of these measurements. All right, and it says there, let's take this one for you. It says 22. Now, if I take my ruler and I check on scale 1 to 1, and it is 22, then this is scale 1 to 1, baby. Yeah, as I say that, 22, and I meet for him, and he's 22, then is it more scale 1 to 1? What they say is what they is. Alright? Next one, name the company who made the drawing. Of course, here you can see Wilmer Industries. Uh, who made the drawing, and when it, I'm going to skip that, who checked the drawing, all of that is down here. Who approved? It's all here. Including this drawing. How many times has the drawing been revised? So you're going to have to find that. They don't have a revision list here. So there's somewhere else that they have to, to say that to you. There's a drawing number. You see that three at the end. Here it says this drawing supersedes drawing with a two. So it, from that we can take that this is number three. Okay, three here. All right. Uh, what is the order number? Uh, we're going to again find that year, um, including this drawing, we did that, state the type of material used to manufacture this part, clear cast iron, uh, how many of these components must be manufactured, 998, very clear, um, what the view does view X represent, so let's find X here, there's our 3D views, then we've got Y, and there we have X. And this being third angle of the graphic projection, this is very straightforward. That is going to be a top view. Boa on sich. X is a top view. Then what does view Y represent? Y is our full sectional front view. Full snit for on sich. Um, all right. All right. Um, they haven't put the cutting plane in here. They're probably going to ask us to do the cutting plane in a moment. Let's see. Um, what view does Z represent? Z here is this here at the bottom. And that is just a pictorial 3D view of a print on sich. 3D tekening in a sweet sal werk. Um, what feature does A represent? Let's quickly find A here. A is that counter bore hole. Okay, and Afrikaans parallel versinkte gat. So ek het een gat wat deurgaan en dan het ek een skouwer daar is een parallel versinkte. Ek sien die boekant en die lijn is parallel in mekaar. Parallel versinkte gat in English counter bore hole. Alright, that's A. Then they ask for us what does B represent. That now is a counter sunk. Counter sunk. That's at 45 degrees in Afrikaans uh, versinkte gat. When it's at an angle, it's just called a counter bore hole. When it is um, a counter, when it's at an angle, it's counter sunk. When it's straight, it is a counter bore. So parallel versinkte, of as it net 45 graden is, is it versinkte gat. Maak seker jy onthou die verskil daar. Right, then C is the center point for this radius of the fillet. Nee, jy het net al dit gevra, SF. Die cent, dis die centerpunt vir daar die filet, sy radius, is C. Right? Centerpunt van die filet, sy radius, center point of the fillet, radius. Then we go to D, that is then the, alright? Now it is on the outside, it's called a round. Of in Afrikaans, in Engels, uh, oh, yeah, ronding in Afrikaans, round in English. Alright, E here, 
Chica, chica. Where's E? There it is at the bottom. E is a fillet. We said that just now. And then F here is an internal screw thread of a getapte gat. Interne screw thread of a getapte gat. No, internal screw thread going all the way through. All right. Then G. There it is. That is our external screw thread. External screw thread. H. It's an insnijding, insnijding, undercut, undercut. Some of you are thinking of a hair undercut. No, undercut. So when this is machined, there is this undercut. It goes all the way around, and you would maybe have an O-ring that goes over that. Uh, a type of an O-ring, what might look weird to but this is a insnijding. Okay. Uh, what is the area? I, why is the area I not hatched? All right, it's this part here. If I look at the cutting plane that I'm supposed to insert here, let me maybe insert that. They're going to ask that for you anyway. So I'm going to do it freehand. You should probably not do it freehand. There's the cutting plane to get this front sectional front here, right? We've got two arrows. We can label them AA. Right? Do you see if I cut here through air and I look in the direction of the arrows, I'm going to see that inside. So there... It's not, it's not cutting through anything. So I'm just seeing this part here. Okay. As I die, snij vlak snij. Ek sien die binnenkant. Dit snij eers van daar af dier hierdie component. So die deel is nie gaar seer. Die maak het absoluut sin. Seker het doen. Alright. Hier, what is feature J called? It's this part here. Alright. So this screw thread what is, what's the purpose of a screw thread? It is a fastener, right? A, a hack middle, okay? Is there any internal details? If I cut this through, is there any internal details that will make sense to me? No, nothing. I won't learn anything. So remember, a fastener is never sectioned, okay? So they're asking me, what is J? Well, you, if it's at this part, it's called the external screw thread, but if it's a component, it's a fastener. Inherently, it is a fastener. It word gebruik as a hechmiddel. Alright, number 25. Um, revise feature A. Uh, let's quickly see the... the um, what is the... Redimension feature A. Where's A? Okay, there it is. A. Redimension. Okay, sorry. There. Okay, so that's the top one here. I'm going to write it for you. Okay, I'm going to write it here. For you. If I redimension this, I'm going to write it as follows. There we have a diameter 10. On the inside here, I have a diameter, sorry, look here quickly, that internal hole is diameter 6. The external hole here is diameter 10, and it's a counter bore uh, 2 millimeters deep. So if I rewrite that, I'm going to write it as follows. Diameter 6, I'm going to have a hole, C bore, alright, and then it's the diameter 10 and the depth times 2. Okay, so I'm rewriting all of that that you see there. I'm, it's a diameter 6 hole, counterbore diameter 10 and the depth 2. Okay, Afrikaans sal die gelees het, nou wil ek net te plekker om te skryf, kan ek het my hier so so skryf, okay? Dit is nou nummer... 25. Okay, so there's a diameter 6 gat. Okay. Dit is versink VS diameter 10 en die diepte is 2. Okay. That would be a different way of writing it. Diameter 6 gat met a versinkte gat PVS diameter 10 en die diepte is 2. They asked me they are the same for the one at B. Let's just do the comparison. So this one, I again going to start with diameter 6. That's that hole. 
the inlays are countersunk all right at 90 degrees if i would take that degree and that degree it is 90 degrees at 90 degrees to what's the outer diameter there 10 diameter 10 Okay, I'll read it for you. Diameter 6 is the hole. Countersunk at 90 degrees to diameter 10. Let me just rewrite that so it's more clear. To diameter 10. That is the maximum sizing there. Okay. Afrikaans diameter 6 gaat. Okay. Versink 10 90 graden tot diameter 10. Take a moment, take a deep breath and study that why I'm saying that, so that you can remember it. Diameter 6, diameter 6 is die gat. Versinkte gat is die feit dat dit ene grade is. Dit is 90 graden, as ek die grade, jy kan nou seker 45, maar dit is nog so 90 graden, want ek lees die twee saam, tot diameter 10 is die buiten diameter. Ok, take a moment, to uh, make that your own. Number 27, what is the size of the external thread? So, um, all right, there we have it. All right, now if I look at the view, let me just see if I line this up. All right, if you look at this, this lines up with that hidden detail. Do you see that? Okay. And they tell you there it's a M18 times 2. What does that 2 mean? It means this is 2 millimeters. So my screw thread is 2 millimeters. Nee? Okay. So I can apply in no suka. I suck mates for here, but da stand it. It's a M18 screw thread, mal 2. Die mal 2 is die, is die diepte van die screw thread. As hulle nie vir die screw thread diepte gegeet nie. Wat was jou formule? Kan jy ondou? Dit so wees mooi, 0.1, 0.1 maal met die 18 deersnee, en dit is 1.8, so ons is nie ver af nie, maar hulle specificeer dit as 2, so jy moet nie worry oor dit, ek het net veel probeer aan dou, wat as hulle nie dit specificeer nie, dan weet jy dit is 2. If they don't specify that 2, it is 0.1 times whatever that amount is. Yes or no, are you with me? Hope you're keeping up. Alright, don't run. What is the length of the external thread? So there we're going to double check it. There's the 18. Uh, what is the size of the internal thread? That's that F there. Again, if it is not specified, we're going to take that M8 and we're going to times it by 0 0.1. Okay, we have to just double check if it's not specified. All right, let's go on. Uh, what is the length? The length of the internal thread all right, so there it is, the 6 millimeters all the way through, almost finished. What is the size of all fillets and rounds? You can double check here, it says 4 millimeters. And then the last one, calculate the following dimensions. You're going to take your time to answer these at the bottom. You're going to have to calculate them. Uh, I'll just double check for you uh, after you've done that. Insert the section line, we've done that here on top. That was the AA. And draw the conventional representation of each. So down here, that's the pin. You can remember in our previous video, we actually did all of these. And so you can either watch that or you can do them yourselves. But I want you to do them all freehand. There's your bearing. You have an external screw thread. You've got an internal screw thread. Um, and you've got here an internal screw thread with something that's threaded into it. So please make sure you're able to draw all of these. Thank you for watching. It's the end of the lesson. You guys, please do 2.10 as well in preparation for your SPA. Thank you so much. Cheers.